Right now, President Joe Biden has announced he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. What this means for Democrats and voters. That's all coming up at 530. President Biden made the historic announcement today that he's stepping away from his reelection efforts. In a statement, the president said in part, quote, while it has been my intention to seek reelection, I believe it is the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. His decision came amid growing pressure from many in his party after last month's scrutinized debate performance. By this weekend, more than three dozen Democratic lawmakers had called for the president to exit the race. This was a very difficult decision and one that I think reflects the very best of who Joe Biden is. The challenge of seeing this moment and of recognizing what was in the best interest of the nation was a significant challenge. I still believe he could have beaten Donald Trump, but I also know that what he's done today is in the best interests of our nation. President Biden made the decision while recovering from COVID-19 at his home in Delaware, where voters say they support the move. The DNC says in the coming days, the party will undertake a transparent and orderly process to move forward as a United Democratic Party. And President Joe Biden is announcing who he would like the Democratic nominee to be. On X, Biden endorsed Kamala Harris to be the Democratic nominee. He also said Kamala Harris as vice president and it's been the best decision I've made. Today, I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. And in a statement on social media, Harris accepted Biden's endorsement, saying her intention is to earn and win the Democratic Party's nomination for president. We have team coverage on the latest news. Our political reporter Will Keneally is in studio with us and Braden Ross is in the newsroom. They have reactions from officials and what this means for the Democratic Party. Now let's go ahead and start with Will. Will, so far, what are you hearing? What do you have for us? Yeah, Jalen, we've seen within the last couple of days uh, more and more Democrats calling on Biden to step down from his reelection bid. And that included our own Dane County Congressman Mark Pocan, who joined other U.S. reps in writing a letter to Biden to step down on Friday. Now, we spoke with Pocan shortly after the news was broken this afternoon. It happened uh, a little quicker than I thought, but I did think something would happen probably in the next week, a definitive answer one way or the other. But, you know, uh, again, uh, this is something that was extremely selfless uh, by the president to do this. And now this uh, really provides a whole lot of uh, new energy for Democrats. Now, the prospect of having Biden on the ticket was also causing some concerns that Biden might lower the turnout for down ballot races like U.S. Senate. Now, Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin is in her own reelection bid this year. She spoke at an event in Stoughton earlier today. Joe Biden promised to be a bridge to the next generation. We're, we're crossing that bridge right now. And I think you're going to see a lot of unity, a lot of excitement, a lot of people inspired by this moment. Now that mirrors much of the Democratic reaction that we've seen so far with Democrats saying, many of them saying this is a way to shift from outside questions about Biden's fitness to run to running on the issues that they think will impact Democratic voters. So Will, just with your, your expertise and everything that we've seen so far this season, just how rare is it uh, with President Biden stepping down? Um, I think this is practically unprecedented. I think the last time that we've had uh, uh, going into a Democratic convention mm -hmm. without a clear nominee has been something like 50-something years. Wow. Um, so we're certainly living uh, front seat through history here. For sure, and I know that you'll keep us updated with all your efforts this season. It's, it's wearing for a wild one, it seems like. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, well, sounds good. Thank you, Will. Thank you. We now move to reaction of local voters, residents of Mount Horeb, were somewhat split on how they felt about the announcement, but many say they saw this coming. And I'm not surprised Biden's withdrawing. I think he saw the writing on the wall. I think it's a good move. I think he's a, a very bright man, and I'm just, I'm kind of sad that he's not going to be running, but I understand. I'm glad to have a new Democratic candidate, hopefully, and... Um, yeah, I hope the Democrats can still pull through even without Biden. I think it's going to really help the chances of Trump not becoming the next president. And that's the best thing for the country right now. We'll have more local reaction in the coming days as this story continues to develop. And former President Barack Obama on social media reacting to the news saying Joe Biden has been one of America's most consequential presidents as well as a dear friend and partner to me. 
The full statement went on to say, for him to look at the political landscape and decide that he should pass the torch to a new nominee is surely one of the toughest decisions in his life. But I know he wouldn't make this decision unless he believed it was right for America. And in the hours after this announcement, many are left wondering what happens now. Our Raina Ross sat down with political expert and pollster Charles Franklin to get some of those answers. She joins us now from the newsroom. Brayden, what's next between now and the DNC? Yeah, well, the answer is a lot of figuring things out. The Democratic Party will be making a lot of political calculations in the coming days and weeks. The first question, of course, is now that pre now that it's not Biden, who will become the Democratic nominee for president? President Biden immediately released a statement of full endorsement for his vice president, Kamala Harris. That means she is likely to be the nominee, which Charles Franklin told me does have advantages for the Democrats campaign moving forward. She was on the primary ballots with him. Uh, also, she can take over uh, the vast majority, if not all, of the fundraising that the Biden-Harris campaign has done. So it's a much smoother transition. She's also been vice president for three and a half years. Um, and people know her much better than they know any of the governors or senators who are being talked about. Franklin told me of the potential other nominees voters have been asked about, people like California Governor Gavin Newsom, Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Kamala does best against former President Trump in recent polls. The other thing to consider is whether some of those potential challengers will want to jump into a short, hectic race now, or if they'd rather keep their eyes on a run in 2028. As far as what will happen before the Democratic National Convention in Chicago next month. There'll be a tremendous pressure to be in line before they get to Chicago. Whether they can pull it off is an open question. I think there will be a big effort within the party to work that out ahead of time and turn the convention into a unifying event rather than a divisive event. Now, there is still a possibility of an open convention in Chicago ne next month with delegates choosing between several candidates. All of this will be unfolding before us over the next few weeks and months. We'll keep an eye on a few things as it does. One will be, will Kamala be the consensus candidate or will serious challengers arise? We'll also be watching what President Biden will say when he speaks to the nation this week. And also, how will both of these parties change their campaign strategies moving forward after this announcement? All right, sounds good. Braden. thank you. A CBS News poll released late last week before the news of President Joe Biden stepping down as the Democratic candidate shows former President Donald Trump ahead of President Joe Biden. That poll also shows a lead for Trump against Vice President Kamala Harris in a hypothetical matchup. Besides Kamala Harris, some of the top potential candidates and replacements that could replace U.S. President Joe Biden include California Governor Gavin Newsom and Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Governor of Kentucky Andy Bescher and Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker. Vice President Kamala Harris will be in Milwaukee Tuesday. At present, we do not know the details of the stop, but this will be her fifth visit to the Badger State this year. She's made multiple stops in the Milwaukee area, Madison and La Crosse. We will have live team coverage from her event. And of course, we will have her full speech online at channel3000.com. And we will also have live coverage from the Democratic National Convention in Chicago next month, bringing you the latest on who the Democratic nominee for president will be and who the vice president will be. Brady, Susan, Charlotte, and Eric, along with our reporters, will have live coverage from the event from August 19th through the 22nd. Switching gears now, let's get a look at your first warned forecast with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Blaze, things have picked up quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, you know, we we were wondering where that stationary front was going to place itself, and it has moved off to our south, but behind that is where we find these heavy showers, and even few uh, thunderstorms at this hour. We're taking a live look towards downtown Madison, where just a few minutes ago, you really couldn't see the capital because of how heavy it was raining, but we're going to track out where the heaviest rain is. Obviously, right now, the main... Uh, uh, shower and thunderstorm activity is really isolated to what looks to be Dane County. The heaviest shower activity moving in, into cross plains between us and say downtown Madison into the Middleton area. Stay north of Fitchburg and Verona right now. Not seeing a lot of lightning with this cluster. So this is just heavy rain at this point. And then we also find another line or group of heavy showers along with a few rumbles of thunder off into Grant County. Staying south of Bosco Bell right now, but moving into Guttenberg. 
staying to the west of Lancaster. And folks, these are pushing off towards the southwest. They're not moving eastward, and they're also moving very slowly. I'm going to zoom this out and just over the last hour kind of loop this. They're not moving very fast, so they are going to just continue to rain themselves out. Minor flooding could be an issue, especially in flood prone areas. In the meantime, though, if you're hit by one of these showers very quickly, it's going to cool you down. We're into the low 60s around Mineral Point, just to our north, 81 in Lone Rock, where we haven't seen that rain. So, uh, Jalen, we're going to track out a couple more rain chances in the upcoming work week in just a few minutes. All right, sounds good, Blaze. Thank you. So to come on news through now at 530. Families in the area got out for some fun this afternoon celebrating a 30th anniversary. And later tonight, find out which paint gives you the best bang for your buck and brush for your summer projects. You'll be amazed at the before and after difference when you update that old bathtub with a beautiful new walk in shower from Mad City Baths. Mad City is Wisconsin's trusted bathroom remodeler with installations in as little as one day. We're also your local provider for replacement windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Plus, now we're ready to take your call during our triple savings sale. Save three ways. First, receive 50% off installation of a new bath or shower. Second, 24 months, no interest and no payments, senior military discounts. And third, call during this program and receive a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate available now only from Mad City Baths. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. When a crane collapsed during construction of a major league sports stadium, three workers lost their lives. Their widows called us. When maintenance workers were permanently injured by an industrial accident at a public utilities power plant, the seven injured workers called us. When a factory exploded, injuring dozens of workers, 18 victims, including all three families of men who lost their lives, called us. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish, and Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. I got it. I got it. The airport is in four miles. Interesting choice. You're going on fifth? <laughs> Discover performance in rare form. You got it, but she's delayed. Get offers on select F-Sport models at the Lexus Golden Opportunity sales event. Get special offers on select Lexus RX models. You're watching News 3 Now at 5.30, moving forward. You're taking a live look at the White House after the historic announcement of Joe Biden, the sitting president, withdrawing from the 2024 presidential election. We'll bring you the most updated coverage tonight at 10. And if you're looking for some good old family fun on a Sunday afternoon, then the open house at the Aldo Leopold Nature Center was the place to be. It was the 30th anniversary of the Children's Environmental Education at the center, and they celebrated by having an open house where all were invited to a day of fun and adventure in nature with activities with fort building, pond dipping, genealogy, journal making, and to name a few. And what's the celebration without some music? There was lots of food, music, truck games, and so much more. It's a very special place, and I think they can get out of the Madison area, you know, in, in a way, and, and kind of be in, in nature and, and learning, learning how to be one with our, our natural environment. So our kids have just absolutely loved this place. It's been a very important place for us. And what's even better, all that fun was free, except for lunch. But the kicker, the prices from the food trucks were similar to the prices back in 1994, which was just a few years before I was born. And a, f and a final check of your first one forecast is coming up when we return. There's a lot to love about life in the 608. Fundraisers, farmer's markets, family events, Tell Josh what inspires you, and it might be featured on News 3 Now This Morning in the 608, weekdays only on News 3 Now This Morning. When you get to be our age, you start worrying about things that you don't even think of at your age, you know, like getting in and out of the tub.
That's why Rich called Mad City Baths for a safer bathing space with a new walk-in shower like this. Mad City Baths is your trusted source for American-made baths and showers installed in as little as one day. Call during our triple savings sale to save three ways. First, receive 50% off installation of a new bath or shower. Second, 24 months, no interest, no payments, senior military discounts. And third, call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your in-home estimate. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Here's to sweet summer days together in Wisconsin. To discovering magic in every moment. Here's to supper club celebrations. And to a lifetime of memories. Here's to reconnecting through a world filled with wonder and dancing until the sun goes down. Here's to those who Wisconsin. I'm coming to you live from Wisconsin, where the Wisconsin Lottery's newest scratch game is taking over. Let me tell you, this is big. Are you getting this? It's Winning Streak, a brand new $10 scratch game. Match any of your numbers to winning numbers or reveal three identical numbers in a row. You could win up to $100,000. So cool. Now available at Wisconsin Lottery retailers. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You're watching News 3 Now at 5.30, moving forward. You're taking another live look at the White House. If you've recently joined us, President Biden has made the decision to withdraw from the 2024 race. Continue to get the latest updates tonight at 10. Well, it was a much different look there. Pretty sunny there. It's changed in the last couple hours or so for us here in the Madison area. Blaze, what's the latest? You know, we're continuing to track those showers and thunderstorms that are moving through parts of southern Wisconsin right now. Uh, Let's take it in here in just a moment, but this is all behind a stationary front that moved out of northern Wisconsin last night and has uh, been just that little kind of catalyst to get some of these storms going. So as you may have just seen, here's already some of the last uh, three hour radar estimated total rainfall where we get into these light blues and even these purples just south of Madison and uh, south of the Beltline kind of right there along 151 and then even into Blanchardville staying south of Dodgeville. That's upwards of maybe two and a half to three inches of estimated rainfall over the last three hours. And these storms haven't been really raining themselves out for the last three hours. So that shows you how much rain is in the atmosphere for these storms and showers to essentially use before they rain themselves out. Madison and folks to the east, uh, McFarland, Cottage Grove, Sun Prairie, we're starting to dry on out. Most of that activity is pushing off towards the west. These are moving backwards in terms of what we would normally see a west to east movement. These are moving east to west. So don't be confused if it kind of looks odd if you're happening to look outside, but we take our attention down to Porter, uh, just outside of Footville. This shower is going to be in, impacting us as well. Same with those of us in Evansville. And then off towards B-Town in Bloomington in parts of Grant County up there north uh, to Prairie du Chien. This is another uh, group of thunderstorms that's just going to continue to move its way back south and westward. Over the last three hours or so, you can see they're moving out of eastern parts of Wisconsin. And they will eventually fizzle out as we head overnight once we really lose the the heating of the sun. And if you're underneath one of these showers, if you don't really like the hot temperatures, it cools us off into those low 60s. We're at 66 in Mineral Point, 70 in Madison, 69 in Watertown, 80 in the Dells. We're all expected to hang out in the mid 60s tonight. And once we dry out, fog is expected to develop because our winds are remaining light. We're not turning the atmosphere. We're not moving out this humid air mass. So fog is most likely going to develop once we go past midnight into your morning commute on Monday. But then that fog quickly quickly burns on off as you're seeing here on future track by the late morning hours. We're seeing more sunshine that's going to allow us to climb back into those upper 70s to low 80s for your Monday, but into the afternoon hours that then once again gives us that chance for scattered showers 
and thunderstorms. So fog in the morning on Monday and then in the afternoon we'll see those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Seven day and 10 day forecast. Once again, no alert days, but we are going to track again that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms Monday, Tuesday, and then again, maybe on Wednesday morning fog possible Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday as well. And then Thursday onwards, uh, we remain dry, but it's starting s Sunday that we tap into the heat and humidity. We're back into the upper 80s to low 90s all the way through the middle of your upcoming upcoming work week. All right. Well, sounds good. Thank you, Blaze. And so to come in sports, the Packers had the training camp with one of the most important players under a new contract. Andrew has more next on News 3 Now. Time is running out to call Mad City Baths during our triple savings sale. Get the shower you've been dreaming of installed in your existing tub space in as little as one day. Backed by a double lifetime labor warranty. And in addition to baths, Mad City is also your trusted source for windows and kitchen cabinet refacing. Last chance during this program to take advantage of our triple savings sale. Save three ways. First, receive 50% off installation of a new bath or shower. Second, 24 months no interest and no payments. Senior military discounts. And third, remember this is your last chance to call during this program for a free $50 Walmart gift card with your free in-home estimate from Mad City Baths. From Madison throughout South Central Wisconsin, call 608-729-4466. That's 608-729-4466. Drive into summer with a new Honda Accord Hybrid, CRV Hybrid, or the all-new Civic Hybrid. Take a vacation, staycation, or just a weekend drive with the windows down. Whatever you do, make it epic with Honda. The 2024 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Overall EV and Hybrid Brand. So act now. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into the Honda Summer Event. Empire's quality and customer service were absolutely amazing. The installers were so conscientious. I have and I will continue to recommend Empire. 800-588-2300, Empire. Today, you can visibly eliminate wrinkles and under eye bags in 10 minutes with results that last up to 10 hours without needles and without surgery. Plexiderm does it for only $14.95. Visit plexidermtrial.com. Wisconsin Broadcasters, local, trusted, connected. Packers training camp starts tomorrow and star receiver Jaden Reed will begin camp on the sidelines with a non-football injury. Reed broke the Packers rookie reception record last year and will be a key piece in their offense this year, assuming he's healthy. Here he is at his camp in Monona this past Friday, looking as agile as ever, which should alleviate some concerns about the injury. Assuming the Pack get him back soon, here is what the second year stud said about the offense. No doubt, I'm really excited. Um, just knowing that, you know, I feel better about the playbook, you know, going in with not as much jitters, so I'm excited for year two. Staying up in the frozen tundra where the Packers got a deal done with Pro Bowl defensive lineman Kenny Clark. Clark, who recorded a career high seven and a half sacks last season. His contract signing, it keeps one of the league's most promising defenses intact even longer. Across the pond, and maybe then some, where Xander Shoffley ruled the day in Scotland earlier this year, the narrative was that he couldn't get the big wins in his bag. And today, at the Open Championship, he won his second major of his career and his second of the year. It also means that Americans won all four majors this year. That's the first time that has happened since 1982. The MLB season is long, and sometimes in an 162-game marathon, you need a break. The Brewers struggled leading up to the All-Star break, but have come back from it better than a day at the spa. Rejuvenated. Beat the Twins in extras last night, and after a rain delay, had even more late-game dramatics today. Crew trailing by one run in the seventh, but not anymore. Jackson Churio turns and burns. Goodbye baseball. A solo homer, his tenth of the season, and it ties the Twins 
at five apiece. And then in the eighth, it's Reese Hoskins' turn. A two-run jack leaves the yard in an absolute hurry. And the Brewers take two from the Twins. Fresh off the All-Star break, they win it eight to seven. What a 24 hours it has been for this guy, Justin Best. The Florida State outfielder is a big reason for the Madison Mallards' tremendous success on the field this season. And last night, he got a little bit of extra motivation. Check this out. His parents surprised him after the game, coming all the way up from North Carolina. Look at that look on his face. You really couldn't say much more than that. And it certainly helped him today. Scoreless in the second inning of today's game, and there he goes. A solo homer in front of his family. Of course, he gives them that point to the crowd, recognizing they're there, and they helped him. And it gives the Mallards the early lead, but he wasn't done just yet. The best was still to come. Bases loaded in the sixth. And I mean, what did you expect? A grand slam clearly got the motivation he needed. Gives another acknowledgement to his family in the stands, and it helps the Mallards win it. 10 to 5. I mean, that's the best thing I've seen all day, no pun intended. How yeah. cool is that? I was I was going to say, it, it doesn't get any better. No. They surprise you. That's already good enough. And then you end up hitting a grand slam. And another home and run. And another homer. It's unbelievable. That's like storybook type stuff. But training camp is already here. It Crazy. seems like yesterday the Super Bowl was, was just getting wrapped up. And now we're entering year two of Jaden Reed's career, which is... And the George Love era, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it seems, again, time just keeps on flying by. Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson were just rookies not too long ago. Now they're in year three. And the other thing that we need to keep our eye on, Kenny Clark gets the extension. Yeah. Will Jordan Love get one soon? It doesn't look like it'll be before camp, but that's something to watch out for. You never know. Well, all right, sounds good, Andrew. A final check of your first one forecast is coming up when we return. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to, to delicious. delicious. Yeah. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's nationwide 5G coverage? Yeah. Download our app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow, still have 5G here too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Try out our nationwide 5G coverage free for 30 days. Download the U.S. Cellular Try Us app today. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock.